Hey there, I'm Ian Baker, and today I'm gonna show you how to operate an RV's black tank flush. So let's get into it. It's actually a pretty simple process. First thing we're going to wanna do is hook up your sewer hose if it's not already hooked up, and we want to dump the black tank. Now, while you don't necessarily need to dump your gray tank, I mean, if you're dumping tanks, you might as well just dump them both, right? So hook up your sewer hose, get that bayonet fitting on there, make sure we're hooked up over here. Now I'm in the shop here, as you'll see it, it's not quite long enough to screw, screw down in there, but that's fine. We're gonna put it like this, put a heavy object on there. And this is something you can do at your campsite too, that way as you're dumping, you don't have, uh, you don't have any issues of it popping up out at you. I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit. There we go. Then you're just going to, again, simply open up your valves, your, gray, your black first, followed by your gray. Um, you're gonna let that dump out. Obviously, this is a brand new RV, so I don't have anything coming out of here, but uh, if you are using your RV, you certainly will. After that is dumped out, um, you, this is probably the most important thing when we talk about dumping or using your black tank flush, and that is you have to make sure that your black tank valve stays open. If you close that, you're gonna fill up your black tank way too quickly, you'll have issues. I've seen people drop black tanks, drop them out of the bottom. That's not something you wanna have happen. So make sure after you dump your tanks, you just leave the valves open. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a hose, a city water hose. Do not confuse these two. These are two very different things. This one is obviously for your portable water, your drinking water, this one right here is the black tank flush. They look very similar. Make sure you know the difference. And don't use your portable water hose for your black tank, folks, or for your black tank flush. Have a dedicated, um, a dedicated hose. Last thing in the world you want is to have, uh, have, the, have that backfill or something on you. It's gross. Okay. And once you have that all hooked up, we're simply just going to turn the water on, again, making sure that our valves remain open. And you'll see something like this, the black tank flush. Eh, that happens sometimes. <laughs> it's a uh, little bit of overflow there. Again, you only have to have it run in two or three minutes. You can tighten it up even more and it'll, uh, you won't get quite as much water coming out, but then it just makes it that much harder to, to undo. So, um, you know, a little bit overflow, not gonna be the end of the world. The important thing though, is once it starts flowing, that the sprayers in the black tank, again, are washing everything out. And we're gonna see that run right down through here. And you're gonna let that run for about, like I say, two to three minutes until you see that it runs clear. And obviously this is running clear. I have a brand new RV, uh, but I really recommend having a clear elbow. If you don't have one, you definitely want to get one for this exact reason. Um, you know, same thing when you're dumping your tanks normally, it really just lets you see what's going on in your poop pipe. So definitely recommend the clear elbow. After about three minutes, you're gonna to wanna to shut that water off. You'll see a little bit of water slowly start to drip out of there. And then we're simply going to, uh, after it kind of uh, st slows down, you're just gonna lift your hose up, kind of work the water, dump it out. Then once that's done, uh, you'll obviously want to shut your valves, disconnect your termination, and then lift the pipe up and make sure all the water drains out and you're good to go. Okay, so with the water shut off, you should start to see the flow slow down quite a bit. You can see it's still coming out a little bit there and that is completely normal. Um, you know, again, it's just kind of working its way out of the black tank. And then once you see that slow down to where it's basically a drip, that's when we're gonna wanna go up. We'll actually shut our valves and then we will uh, basically drain the rest of the water out of the hose. Cause you have to remember there's still water all throughout this hose. So you don't want to disconnect your termination right away or disconnect from your termination because it's gonna dump out all over you. So come right up here, close our valves like so. And then what I do before I disconnect, I recommend just kind of grabbing, you know, like right about here and just lifting 
and moving that water. You can see all the water that was in the hose there. And again, just kind of moving all that down. Whoop. Getting out as much of that as you can. And again, normally, right, this will be connected um, to wherever you're at. It's a little bit tougher in the shop, but then once you get that done, that's when you can disconnect right here. And then kind of same process. You're just gonna lift this up, have all that water dump out. Just like that. And you're good to go, folks. That's all there is to it. Um, again, this is something I recommend doing pretty much every time you're done camping. It's a pretty simple and easy process. It'll help make sure your black tank stays clean, which is important because that way you're not getting false reading from tissue and other things being left behind on your sensor. So if you're having that issue where, you know, it's, uh, you empty out your black tanks and it's still showing it's a third or two third full, that definitely means it's a time to go ahead and wash that black tank out. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more how-to and troubleshooting information, make sure you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. That way you'll be one of the first ones to see new and upcoming content. Till next time, we'll see you later.